Dr. Sutton has some answers now for our viewers with medical questions out there. So, Dr. Sutton, first one, what is a healthy blood pressure range and what are the symptoms of hypertension? That is a great question. It's probably the top 10 questions I get in the emergency room. So quickly, what is blood pressure? It's the pressure in our arteries every time our heart pumps. That top number is when the heart squeezes. That bottom number is when the heart relaxes. And according to the American uh, Heart Association or the American College of Cardiology, an elevated blood pressure is anywhere where that top number is above 130 or that bottom, bottom number is above 80. Now, you don't heal, uh, this, the second part of this question was, what are the symptoms of high blood pressure? And some patients will tell you that they can feel it, but to be honest with you, it's not something that you can feel. Mm. A persistently elevated blood pressure over a long period of time can negatively affect our brains, our hearts, and our kidneys. And so it's really important to talk to a provider about managing your blood pressure. Some red flags, if you have an elevated blood pressure and you have any additional symptoms like changes in vision, headache, shortness of breath, or chest pain, these are reasons why you need to seek out emergent or urgent medical attention from someone like myself to at least get evaluated. Right. Do, do you recommend those at home? Uh... Do you recommend Their blood those, pressure the pressure cuffs at home? Pressure? You know, I do recommend them, yeah. but I have to say, make sure that you get the one that fits for you, okay. and make sure you pick a time to take your blood pressure, and don't just pick a time at randomly. Uh, for example, I would never take my blood pressure in the middle of a busy ER shift. It would likely be a little high. <laughs> what if we took it right now? <laughs> <laughs> it would likely be a little bit higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to our next question here. This might relate to you as well. Headaches, Doc. Yes. Uh, what descriptors or circumstances help me know if a a headache is dangerous. Yeah, so really quickly, headaches are really common. It's uh, estimated that 12 to 15 percent of people um, have experienced migraines at some point in their life. And really, what I try to tell patients is if the headache has new features, that's when you need to get checked out. For example, if it has an explosive or, or really painful onset, or if, again, it's associated with other symptoms like changes in vision, weakness, difficulty with balance, that is when you need to seek out emergent medical attention. All right, Dr. Sutton, we appreciate you as always. Folks, yeah. you can submit your questions. Check this up. Look at this robes. So we never get to say this yeah. to Dr. Sutton on his Instagram <laughs> at Dr. <laughs> Dot Darian. Yeah. All right, then. Very cool. Looking All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.